Recent high-profile cybersecurity attacks show that both the public and private sector are at risk. The Biden administration has a new plan for a, quote, whole of nation effort to address cyber threats. The White House says nearly half a million cybersecurity jobs in both the public and private sectors remain vacant. Ari Schwartz is Managing Director of Cybersecurity Services at Venable. He's former Special Assistant to the President and Senior Director for Cybersecurity. Ari, welcome to the program. Thanks, Mimi. So in the past, the private sector has been reluctant to share information on cybersecurity threats and to follow government guidance on hardening their systems. How is this plan really any different from past efforts for the government to work with the private sector? Well, I think what we hear in terms of this whole of nation approach is that in the past, there's been really a major focus on the DOJ, on the Justice Department, on, on Homeland Security, on uh, the Defense Department doing the protection, leaving the role in the private sector to the security geeks out there um, and not inv necessarily involving the leadership. And th this is a really a goal to spread to everyone, every part of the government, um, every part of uh, the private sector and get them involved into this discussion. So what do you think needs to happen then for the public and private sectors to work together effectively? Well, I do think we're going to start to see ramping up of uh, the uh, what is required of uh, both the private sector and the public sector in uh, what, what they do. And that, by that, I mean, I do think we're going to start to see a little more regulation, a little more mandates, and that that flows down into the contracting space. Um, so that the uh, those that provide services, those that supply supply chain services, to uh, critical infrastructure, to government agencies are going to ha are going to be re have strong requirements on them. So you know, as we mentioned, it's the executive order says whole of nation approach to bolster cybersecurity, but is that feasible? Um, Perhaps uh, suggesting that every part of, of the, the nation is going to be uh, extremely knowledgeable and working on cybersecurity is probably a little ambitious, um, but at least ramping things up from where they are today. And I think that, that to start that off, uh, they brought in uh, CEOs from a lot of different sectors and not the security sectors, right? I think that was a key point that they made was that they were bringing in uh, people, CEOs from uh, the major tech companies, but also the major banks, the major uh, um, other folks out there, insurance companies, et cetera, that need to be a part of this in order to uh, make it work. Right, because their networks are certainly vulnerable and uh, critical to, uh, to the American public. But as I mentioned, you know, in the intro, there's half a million unfilled cyber jobs. What's the role of federal leaders, do you think, to fill those jobs? Uh, there's been a long-term push to try and fill those jobs, and it's a tough road to go. I, I think what they've really tried to do here is to try and uh, bring in a lot of educators into the space from different levels, so that you have major universities, you have and, and you have small community colleges, and each uh, each of them trying to kind of put in what they can do and uh, to move more 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 students into the space of uh, deciding that they need to go into this area because there are jobs there. Um, we've had open jobs for a long time in cybersecurity, and the numbers are only growing. Um, we are getting more people into the space, but the, at the same time, the jobs continue to grow as well. Well, it is pretty difficult given, you know, the government doesn't pay as much as the private sector as well. Is there something the government can do to incentivize people to apply? Well, government does provide a lot of training for people, right? I mean, I think that that is really the key to get people into, to go into government is that you can really learn uh, quite a lot there in a short period of time um, in government and go out back out to the private sector and make a good amount of money, much more than you would have before you went into government. So I think that we there, there need to be more programs that do that. There have been a number that have been set up uh, recently where um, companies will pay to help do the basic training, send people to school, then they'll go into government for a few years and then come back out to the private sector. And the private sector is already kind of set up that, that, that that's what's gonna happen and working with specific agencies to do that. I think we need a lot more programs like that and, and make them bigger in order to make, have success in that realm. So right now the White House is calling these all recommendations. Is that gonna be enough and are mandates coming? And you know, should we be prepared for that? 
Yeah, I do think mandates are coming. And we're already starting to see it with uh, contract with federal contractors that the mandates are ramping up uh, with DOD and TMMC. Um, that that eventually is going to happen. Uh, it's on a it's probably a bit slower track than it once was, but um, we will continue to see that ramp up. Uh, but then. Uh, be, even beyond the DOD, we're going to see that with the federal government, I think, as well, and all the contractors for the federal government. Then we'll start to see that with critical infrastructure and, and uh, their suppliers, and you're going to start to see that ramp up more and more. Um, regulators, I think, we need, need to become a lot more uh, invested and a lot more interested in cybersecurity than they have in the past. It can't just be uh, the cybersecurity experts out there. They can't just be DHS uh, telling, giving the advice to the regulators. It has to be the regulators themselves uh, becoming more knowledgeable if this is really going to work. So Ari, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, is creating a framework for industry to follow. In the 30 seconds we have left, what security measures do you think NIST and industry can agree on to protect that critical information? Well, NIST has a NIST cybersecurity framework as the key basis for this. So there already is something that the that industry has done and industry has worked with them well in the past. Now we need to expand that out to the, to the supply chain. And I think that's really the key. And I do think that the private sector really wants to work with NIST to do that. All right, well, thank you very much, Ari, for being on the program. Nice talking to you. You too.